So we're just going to keep ignoring this, aren't we? Chicago Sun Times. This is my fifth week of doing this. Nine killed, 18 moved in Chicago weekend shootings. On Saturday, a 15 year old boy was found, was wounded in a drive by in South Chicago, and a man was killed in a triple shooting Friday in Bronzeville. <clears throat> like what I just said, nine people were killed, 18 were wounded. Continuing on, the latest fatal shooting happened Monday in Dunning on Northwest Side. A 29 year old man was northbound in a vehicle at 3.53 a.m. at the 4000 block of North. Naranganset Avenue, when a male f fired shots from a dark-colored SUV, police said. He was shot in the armpit and taken to the Illinois Masonic Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead at 4.38 a.m. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office has not released the details about the fatality. Several hours earlier, another man was shot to death in Garfield Park on the west side. Jordan Cooper, 23, was standing on the street at 1.03 a.m., in the 700 block of North St. Louis Avenue when someone unleashed gunfire, Chicago police and the Cook County Medical, Medical Examiner's Office said. Cooper was struck in the head and pronounced dead on the scene, authorities said. On Saturday, a man was killed in Morgan Park on the far south side. About 2.25 p.m., he was in the 1100 block of South Bishop Street when someone approached him and opened fire, police said. He was struck multiple times about his head and body. The man was rushed to Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn where he was pronounced dead. Earlier that day, a man was shot dead in Lawndell. This 30-year-old man was getting out of his vehicle about 6 a.m., 1800 block of South Keeler Avenue, when someone opened fire on him, police said. He was struck multiple times, taking him outside in the hospital, and again, pronounced dead. Before dawn, another man was fatally wounded in Gresham on the south side. 23-year-old was sitting in the driver's side of a vehicle with a friend at 2.30 a.m. in the 8300 block of South Peoria Street, police said. As his friends got out of the vehicle, someone pulled alongside another vehicle and opened fire. The man was hit multiple times in the head and body. Police said he was taken to St. Bernard Hospital and where he was pronounced dead. About an hour, hour and a half earlier, the man was killed in, a, in the Austin on the west side. Officers responded to spot shooter alert about 11, 1 a.m., 500 block of North Lawler Avenue, and found Anthony Jones, 28, unresponsive with gunshot wounds to the chest and groin, police said. He was taken to Stroger Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. On Friday, a 29-year-old man was shot dead in Inglewood on the south side. At 11.24 p.m., Keith A. Lee was standing on the street, 6,000 block of South LaSalle Street, when someone in a silver-colored SUV opened fire, police and medical governor's office said. He was struck in the head and pronounced dead on the scene. Uh, earlier, a man was a, killed in a triple shooting in Bronzeville on the south side. Michael Serrano, 22, was walking with two women about 9 p.m., 3600 block of South Indiana Avenue, when someone on foot fired shots. Police and the medical office, examiner's office said he was hit in the head and pronounced dead on the scene. A woman, 22, was struck in the foot and taken to Mercy Hospital in good condition. An eight-year-old woman was struck in the back and taken to University of Chicago Medical Center, where her condition was stabilized. Wow, this is... This is messed up. About two and a half hours before the shooting, a man was killed in Cragen on the northwest side. 46-year-old was driving a truck at 7.35 p.m., 5100 block of West Belmont Avenue, when a male opened fire from a black SUV, police said. The man was hit in the chest, and the truck collided with a parked vehicle before coming to a stop. He was taken to the Community First Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead, police said. In a non-fatal shooting, a 15-year-old boy was wounded in a drive-by in the south. On Saturday in South Chicago, he was walking about 12.47 a.m. What was he doing up at that hour? In the 200 block of South Marquette Avenue, when he, someone in a passing gold-colored Chevy Caprice opened fire, police said the team was hit numerous times and taken to Comer Children's Hospital in critical condition. At least 15 other people were hurt in shootings across Chicago from 5 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Monday. Wow. <clears throat> so, again, now this weekend, there was a lot. There was nine people killed. So, I think there's a new problem here, evidently. So far this year, 31, actually, no, not this year, just the five weeks I've been doing this. Just the five weekends. That it actually just started. There's more people that have been shot and killed in Chicago since the beginning of the year. 
31 have been shot and killed. 31. Okay. 122 wounded. How many reports from the mainstream media? You guessed it. Zero. You get it in the local papers, of course. But you see uh, David Muir on ABC talking about this? Nah, you don't. You see the talking heads on MSNBC talking about this? Nah, you don't. How about Fox News? No. But Trump said something crazy today. Who cares? This is more important. But, but as usual, the mainstream media only reports stuff. This isn't, I guess, sexy for them. I mean, this is real life. But the news media, they are what they are. Terrible at what they do.